It's doing the VIN scan right now. Look at that. Okay, so it automatically found my VIN, which is really cool. It tells you Honda Ridgeline, uh, Black Edition 2024. All right, so it's scanning. Engine system, no fault code. Oh, it even talks to you. It says no fault codes. All right. It's scanning pretty quick, actually. 55% already. So that's why I like this, because it's pretty fast reading, especially on these newer vehicles. That's pretty good. Pretty cool. No fault codes. Uh, ABS find fault code. There's one there. TPMS. There's a TPMS fault code. Five of those. Let's tap that. All systems diagnosis. Awesome. And there's the Honda Civic that I had issues with that I used it on as well. Um, but yeah, it was able to identify all these issues and problems that I had. So thumbs up guys. All right guys, I've got a video here. I just got this really cool King Bolin OBD2 reader. I've actually used it already, um, but I wanted to make a, I wanted to try it out and make sure that it worked really good before I recommended it. But it's pretty awesome guys. It's really easy to do. You download the app. The information is um, really easy to read and easy to use. Punch in your vehicle information and you're good to go. I'm gonna demonstrate today how I uh, check how my truck is running. This is on my Ridgeline. I actually did this already on my Civic and I didn't make a video of it, but I should have. Um, but it did pull some codes on my Civic that I had. So it was a 2012 Civic, but this is a 24 Ridgeline. So we're gonna put, plug it in and see what pops up. This is what it looks like. Really straightforward, simple, small package. Looks really good quality. See this? So we're gonna plug that in. And as soon as you put it in, it turns green, guys. So that's it right there. Okay, it's working. Ediage app. So you're gonna click on that and you've got all these things. It's got, the first one's all systems diagnostics. We're gonna do that. We can also do a VIN scan. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my vehicle on accessory mode. So now my vehicle's on accessory mode and um, let's see what pops up. So it's doing the VIN scan right now. Look at that. Okay, so it automatically found my VIN, which is really cool. It tells you Honda Ridgeline, uh, Black Edition 2024. And it's the diagnosis is starting. So th that's one reason why I love this new OBD2 reader. Um, so easy to use. You download the app and it's plug in, play, starts to diagnose right away. I don't know which one this is gonna be. We're just gonna do uh, hit 16 pin, see what happens. Um, it just gave me a choice there to pick something and that's what I picked. But uh, when I first got this, um, I was using it on my phone. And I'm like, shoot, how am I gonna record it? Cause I'm using my phone to record all my uh, videos. So I'm actually borrowing my wife's phone here. It's got the vehicle info, perfect. Please record, okay, hit confirm. All right, so now we're gonna do a health report. And it gives you all these options. So you've got system scan, system selection. It's really cool. Let's see, checking will take some time. Yes. So let's see. The engine is not running. The ignition should be on, but the ignition should not be running. Okay, so that's confirmed. All right, so it's scanning. Engine system, no fault code. Oh, it even talks to you. It says no fault codes. All right. It's scanning pretty quick, actually. 55% already. So that's why I like this because it's pretty fast reading, especially on these newer vehicles. That's pretty good, pretty cool. No fault codes, uh, ABS find fault code. There's one there, TPMS, there's a TPMS fault code, five of those. Let's tap that. I think it was because, uh, confirm, uh, my tire uh, TPMS went low, that's why. We're gonna go ahead and uh, read the fault code and it says right front tire pressure sensor signal transmission error oh okay so oh okay so this was when i had my snow tires guys so what i did was i took off my regular tires um oem tires which had the tpms monitors on and i um swapped them out with my snow tires with different rims um different tires and it did not have the tpms monitor on so that's why those uh signals um came on and there's an error. So that's all it's saying. 
is, is that it didn't receive the signal. We're going to go ahead and uh, clear that out. <clears throat> um, that's the report. And we're going to go back, back, and hit clear fault code. So we're going to clear that out. Confirm. So, guys, super easy to use this. Clear trouble code result. Clear fault memory completed. Okay. So that's done. So it cleared that code out. Um, let's see. Let's see what other fault codes there are. So there's TPMS, no more trouble codes. That's an exit. Uh, read the data stream. Um, auto select. Confirm. Um, it tells you your uh, air pressure. Interesting. And the degrees. Oh, in Celsius. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so those are my reports. But yeah, you can you can print the report out, give it to your dealership or your mechanic, and um, yeah, this is how, this is working really cool. I like this. Um, let's go back. So no fault codes anywhere else. Everything else is all cleared out. Okay, but you can run um, you can run a full code on your engine. Let's see. So the health report looks great. We cleared out the TPMS issue that it had. Read data stream, auto, confirm, confirm, confirm. All right, auto select, confirm, confirm. Okay, so that, didn't, that was weird. Uh, let's see, let's go back. If it did have a code, it would pop up somewhere around here and you would click on it for the health report. But again, everything's cleared out. System scan. All right. NFI diesel, engine system equipped. Okay. Engine, engine equipped. System scan. Just about done. Okay. So everything is equipped okay so equipped 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 no issues no fault codes go back system selection okay so if i want to check all these other options it's really it gives you all these things to check it for okay um srs looks like that's airbag stuff tensioner awesome okay so i just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to use this obd2 reader it's around 100 bucks give or take um there's a sale going on right now when I uploaded this video, so take advantage of that, okay? But, um, yeah, this is pretty cool stuff. I like it. Um, Ediage. I don't know if I said it right, but that's what I've got. Maintenance functions. It has the oil maintenance reset. Maintenance software. So you can do ABS bleeding, if you wish. TPMS reset, that's interesting. How cool is that if you can reset your TPMS? Cool. All right, so give it a thumbs up, guys. I am really liking this. Um, the link will be in the description where you can find this product. I bought it off. I got it off Amazon from the company for free. And so they just wanted me to do an honest review. And I had it for at least a month or so. So I've had a chance to plug this in a couple times and look at it. Um, but it's it's done really good. So really pleased with it all okay so all systems diagnosis awesome and there's the honda civic that i had issues with that i used it on as well um but yeah it was able to identify all these issues and problems that i had so thumbs up guys over and out